Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Jesse. Everybody tell that I washed my hair today. <laughs> That's a step in the right direction. Yes. So what are we doing? We are on our way to the medical center, to the doctor's office, to mm -hmm. do my ultrasound. So mm -hmm. we'll see. I guess this video will have something PCOS update-ish in the title. Yes. Um, and I'm going to ask them if they'll let me record Jasmine, hey, 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 hey. Guilty. I don't know if they will or not, but we'll see. You think she'll be okay in the car? I don't know how long we're gonna be there, but we can't leave her here with the therapist. Right, okay. Um, so anyway, today is a big day for the ultrasound. Yeah, they're checking to see if the metformin and the birth control have been working. You wanna take these things? Yeah. You are freaking out, and you almost peed yourself a few times. Not this morning? Yes. You have to drink a lot of water, like two, almost two of these. Yeah. Within an hour so that they can see your stomach or whatever it is that they're doing. For those of you who don't know what two of these mean, it's about like 48 ounces or so. So, yeah. But anyway, she's doing a good job. She is about to blow. She's my new water bottle. My new water balloon. She is still a dick about like turning the camera so I can't see it even though I'm the cameraman. I'm the cameraman. <laughs> Not you, dick face. I don't want to be the cameraman. I just want to see how I look. Then I can't see and then I don't know why I'm filming. And then it, like the camera like starts going like this all the time and I can't see what's going on. When you say that, it makes Sorry, no people. sense. Because don't you think I would tell you if I wasn't in the shot? I'm not talking about you being in the shot or not. I'm talking, hey, hey, hey. I'm talking about this. I can't see if it's moving. Sorry, people. No. Bad. No touchies. No touchies. Anyway, so we will either see you in the doctor's office or we will keep you posted mm -hmm. on what happened when we leave. Okay. Our next appointment is a week from now, so I don't know. It depends on who the tech is mm -hmm. doing the ultrasound, whether or not they'll tell you what they see or not. Everybody's watching us. See you soon. They think we're freaks. <laughs> Bye. We're the weird ones in the family. That's saying something. Yeah. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Thank you for joining our family. We're happy you're here. So we got out of the, uh, whatever you call it. Yeah. The little, the little tech lady wouldn't let us record. She didn't seem very, um... She I said it is illegal. That's not what she said. It is prohibited. Well, she basically just said that, um, well, first of all, I didn't exactly feel very, like, I mean, like, I'm assuming she took the picture she needed to take, but I didn't feel super confident with her abilities. Mm-hmm. No offense if you're watching this, but like, I don't know, like she, can I, t can I say what happened? Um, yeah, I mean, she, she's very confused. <sighs> so uh, they, they did want ultrasound like on my stomach, like externally, and then they had to put like a probe inside me to get a better image, like yeah. an internal one. Um, and she couldn't get it in. So she was like, do you want to put it in for me? And like, I'm not even making a joke, but I was so uncomfortable. I, I looked at Mark with like the face of like, please do something. Please do not make me do this. It, it just got a little worrisome whenever, um, like she didn't know why we were there. And she said like, okay, so we have a trainee watching. I hope you don't mind. If you feel uncomfortable, we'll have her leave. But the, the trainee seemed to be answering a lot more questions that she had. I started to get a little nervous that the senior staff member was, um... Confused? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and was it just having issues with the stuff that she was using? Just 
not, not. When your medical professional asks you to insert the camera, like you start getting concerned and uncomfortable, <laughs> obviously. But anyways, according to her, and I, I'm going to take this at face value because she's obviously not the one that's supposed to be reading it. I guess she yeah. just takes the pictures. She said that she didn't see. I mean, she saw a uterus. She yeah. saw the follicles. Yeah. Like, so all the parts that should be there are there. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, like, do you see any cysts? And she was like, not any that I would consider unusual. I mean, she made it seem like everyone has a certain number of them, like just normal. She was like, I don't see anything that's not considered like a normal cyst. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, this could very well mean that, like, the metformin is working. And you are, in fact... um. Like, maybe it's, it's working because you have not had many cyst pains lately for, like, a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe it's finally working. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Maybe your cysts are finally under control. And we're... I'm hopeful. Just hopefully. Yes, but I'm, I'm taking everything at face value until our appointment on Wednesday. So I'm, like... Staying positive, but, like, I'm recognizing that she's also not supposed to be the reader of the test. So I shouldn't take anything... I, like, I, I should take what she says with a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? I'm calling it... The end of the infertility road is very close. Yes. It's happening. Stay tuned next Wednesday. Well, next Thursday? Yeah, because we're one day behind, right? This video is not over. We'll no, I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, for the next part of, like, this story... Yeah, we'll figure we'll it out. We'll be next Thursday. We'll figure it out before, before this video is over. I am so tired. What's new? So, what we're about to do right now is go to the DMV to finally get my license changed, or at least a temporary ID card, whatever happens, depending on if I can pass the test or not. Um, I, ha I mean, I haven't studied and I haven't driven in, like, months. She's a crazy driver. I'm a backseat driver. Excuse me. She tells me to you run yellow lights a mile long. It's like, it's turn yellow, floor it. It's it doesn't suggestion. matter if you're not in the intersection when it turns red. It's fine. It's like a three second lag before they start up. You can make it in and out, and it's fine. No one's going to question it. Anyways, my nose is stuffed. I feel like I have to sneeze. But anyway, so my cheese test for the nursing school is this Friday. Um, and I recognized, thankfully, I realized that I signed up to the school with. My, my maiden name. So I need to get this switched yes. to my married name. Yes. So we got the marriage license. We got everything we need. I forgot the checkbook. Oopsies. We'll, we'll just have him run to yep. Wells Fargo if we need him to. But anyways, before they tell me that they stopped doing tests at 3.30, I better go. Yeah, we should probably get in there. Kisses. All right. See you in a bit. <laughs> Do I look tired? I'm exhausted. Because I'm very tired. You look like a sexy beast. I, I think most people will disagree greatly. Oh, I'm the only one that has to agree with myself, so... Alright, tell <laughs> them what happened. <sighs> okay, so disclaimer, we've, we've been to the DMV before to try to do this and something has happened. Something always happens. Mm-hmm. But you would, and, but the lady that we talked to was the exact same lady. So you would think that there would be some consistency in what she's asking for. Mm -hmm. But the set of things that she asked for the first time we were there was not what she asked for today. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Like, can you explain that better? So, okay, so what they originally said, sorry, the cat's getting in the way, was um, the first time we went in there, so I am Nikki. You can't see my boobies. So the first time we went in there, they said that um, everything was good, we had everything we needed, uh, without a birth certificate or a passport. It's, they said that one of those things that could be used is a valid driver's license from another state, as long as it was valid, because it was proof that he had jumped through all the other hoops to get it. Mm hmm And it At should be working. Yes, as long as it's valid. It should be working. So whenever we first went in there, everything was good. And they're ready to do her test. Uh, the only thing, the only reason why we stopped and didn't do it right then 
was that you wanted to study a little longer. Yeah. It she out. She did. We went in there, and we're going to do it, and we're going to do it right. The cats are killing each other. We're just going to let that happen. Mm-hmm. One less mouse to feed. Oh, stop it. I'm hoping it's Cuddlebug. That wins or loses? Wins. Right on. I'm just kidding. Sorry, Elijah. Um, anyway, tell us your bets. Cuddlebug or Elijah? So she she studied. She's probably ready. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're like, oh, you need a bunch of other crap in order to do it. And it's like, but you said that this was valid. So unless they suddenly change something overnight, I don't know. So it didn't happen. It did not happen. We, we couldn't do it. We didn't have all the stuff we needed. Her birth certificate is stuck over in Florida still. And like, your parents are still kind of struggling with the whole ma- mailing stuff again. They have, like... Like, they're just really stressed out about it. They're convinced things are going to get lost. Like, you know... So, like, you know, when it comes to, like, mailing our rings or mailing important documents, they're just, like, very uncomfortable. And especially because they've seen that, like, things getting mailed to your house for some reason, like, is not an easy process. No, I mean... So, whenever I was still wooing this girl... Which you still should be. No, I got you. Lack of slacka. Yeah, time is over. I wooed you. I got you. Now it's your turn to woo me. <laughs> you gotta work for it. If you want it. Anyway, I was sending her uh, letters. Love letters. Handwritten. In my horrible handwriting. I and loved them all. I still have them all. And poems. Mm-hmm. She would not write. This is supposed to be a pen pal thing. She's supposed <laughs> to write back to me, which she would not do. And then she'd be like, oh, can we start that pen pal thing again? But you start first. <laughs> so like 20 letters later, I started to realize something was up. <laughs> it would take like three months to get to her. Didn't it? Yeah, like seriously. I was like, you didn't send it. You're so full of poop. So I learned to, like, shove it in a FedEx box and send it by, like, FedEx or UPS. Who did I use? I think it was, like, UPS, but it was, I like, I should know priority. that better. But I get confused. Anyway, um, I noticed is that, like, if I, if I shoved it in a box with, like, a teddy bear, like, the teddy bear, they would make it. Jelly, just you, you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you take this for a second? And I will explain what the heck I was, I, that was about. Sorry, people. I'm gonna admit I'm a little bit indecent. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, take it because I feel exposed. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I hope people are still watching. <laughs> <laughs> so that little outburst was Elijah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm Nikki too. Actually, I'm just like from the top up. But um, he's he's eating one of our books. He has became a book eater. Seriously? He's trying to. Oh, I'm gonna smack a bitch. I'm just kidding. I'm not really. But, don't call. <laughs> Animal control. I was joking. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, he 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 attacked our library. He he attacked the bookshelves. Um, he he took out what the Edge of Black by J T Ellison. Apparently, he's not a fan. That was the one he did yesterday. He was doing it again. No, he's after the new one. Oh, on the bed. Yeah. What a beast! I caught it him. Be- smells like poop in here. Yeah, he just pooped. Ugh. I scared the poop out of him. He pooped on the bed? No. No, but he, he decided he had to go to the cat box <laughs> after. He, he, he <laughs> needed sorry. a moment. He was having a moment. I'm sorry. I heard it, I saw it, and I attacked. That's but hilarious. We're, we're good. We're good. Loud noises. Attack the cat. That's hilarious. I'm laughing so I'm hard. so sorry. But, <laughs> yes, um, mail doesn't make it fast unless you're basically, like, packaging stuff. Uh, be the teddy bears and stuff like that that send you, they'd make it in good, good health very quickly. Yeah. So I realized, shove the letters in there. They don't trust it still. And I kind of understand. I mean, no mail's ever been lost, but three months. Three months. That's crazy. Um, and yeah, I tried to like follow up with it, and they're just like, it's in transit. You know, we'll get there. Sometimes it takes a while. What you gonna do? Small town. Um, literally, like our mail, our post office is just a satellite. That's all it is. I mean, that might not be uncommon. I don't know. I'm 
the heck if I know. Um, but anyway, so like the concern was that like I needed to get my ID changed before I sat for this nursing exam on Friday because they were, you know, told everyone like, you know, 50 times that like what you register with has to match your ID, blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was very concerned. I was kind of like stressed out and I just don't need any more stress this week. There's a lot going on. Like I'm done with the stress. You know, these are the first cats, I'm sorry I'm, ch I'm interrupting, but like these are the first cats I've ever had where like their hair is going up my nose, seriously. I know, right? Did I, didn't I tell you that I think I'm allergic to cuddle bug? It's like they're shedding an unusual amount. I've never, I've had cats for so many years and I've never had cats like do that. Oh, you're insane. Elijah, you're insane. Anyway, I'm sorry, she's dead. She's dead. Keep, keep going, baby. Um, yeah, so I was just stressed out, actually, like, Sorry. like, had some tears. I was like, this, like, this is not a quick fix. Like, anything that we could try to do is gonna take at least a week. Even if we do a priority, like, we need this fixed by Friday. And, like, every time I think it's gonna be, like, you know, a quick... Oh my god, it's her face. <laughs> every time uh, I think it's gonna... Slip. Something is gonna be... Shut up. Every time I think something's gonna be, like, quick and easy, it's just, like, not... Mm. And this DMV thing has turned into a process. That it shouldn't yeah. be. Yeah, it has. I don't even drive. <laughs> I, I That's feel, true. Like, yeah. I haven't driven since I got here. Driven. Drove. Drove. Whatever. I um, I feel bad because there's a process after a process after a process. Everything has just been not easy. And it keeps changing, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on who you talk to and like what's going on. I like, remember so distinctly that that was the lady that we talked to the last time yeah. we were there. So I was like... <laughs> It's not even, like, two different people telling me two different things. It's, like, the same woman changes her mind every time her number gets called at the DMV. I could have swore, like, you know, it was, like, two forms of valid ID. And then one form of, like, proving, you know, your mailing address. Mm hmm And, like, we had two forms of valid ID. Mm hmm Which I could have swore not only did she say that, but the website says that. That's good, but anyway, it's, it's okay... Everything's taken care of. The teeth test is going to go off without a hitch. Yeah, we went to the school. I was like, let's just go to the source and, like, let's not do phone tag because that never works and you don't know who you're talking to. So I just ran over to the school, went up to the, like, the, the leader of the program or whatever. I was like, this is what I'm dealing with, you know. I'm new, newly married, like, new to the area, newly married. The DMV is giving me trouble. Like, you know, I'm trying to, like, be professional about this and do what I need to do. I'm really wanting to be part of this program. Like, am I going to have a problem on Friday? And she was like, no, like, I'm glad you came and talked to me. Like, I'll give the coordinator, whatever you call those people that run the test. I just remember being like, okay, calm down. No need for tears. No need for tears. Yeah, she's really sweet. Do you got a marriage certificate? Yeah. Okay, just bring that. You're fine. Yeah. So anyway, she was like, I'll tell, like, the, the curate. Oh, that, that's for dead people. Or not for a museum. Museum curator? What, is, what do you call it? Someone who gives the tests. The proctor. She's gonna give the proctor a head up, a heads up that like my name was gonna be different and there was like an issue so that she wouldn't be like concerned. Isn't that the guy that checks your prostate? The proctor? Mm-hmm. No, like proctoring the exam? I don't know. I'm over this. I'm so tired. I don't know. But anyway, so we got it solved. Problem solved. I know. I'm pretending. I know. Okay. So I think we are dead beyond dead. And, um, it's been a long day. It really has. I'm so tired. She said she's going to read to me. Are you going to tell them what we're reading? No. no. Okay. <laughs> then yeah, I'm still not reading. Dirty books. Oh shut up. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining the family. We're happy you're here. Night night. Bye.